First tonight, Burton Heights neighbors are mourning and shocked at a deadly shooting just hours after two bodies were found in the road just a few doors down. You're looking at a map showing where all three shooting incidents happen on the city's south side. We've been following the situation all day long. Let's get right out to the scene now where we have uh, News 8's Amanda Porter. Amanda? A Grand Rapids homicide investigation just wrapped up here in the 300 block of Burton and Francis Southeast, where police say a man was shot and killed around 4 o'clock today. Grand Rapids police now investigating three deadly scenes. Two people died, a man and a woman, around 11 this morning. The first incident, GRPD received several calls about a body in the road on Melville Street near Francis Avenue. Then a second body was found on Horton Avenue, nearly a block and a half north of Melville. Police aren't saying how the two died. The third deadly incident, a shooting right here on Burton and Francis Southeast today. GRPD Chief Eric Winstrom says the incidents could be connected, but they are waiting to make that determination after the report from the medical examiner. This homicide would make the third of today. That's right. Yep. And a third of today, and this homicide is literally, I don't know, five or six doors down from one of the ones this morning. Grand Rapids has never there? seen anything like this recently. You have to go back. I mean, if you look back to the Danzler inc incident back in, uh, you know, well before I got here, uh, but three murders in one day is something that I haven't experienced here. I hope to never experience again. Suspect information on all three scenes has not been released yet. If you know anything about any three of these murders today in Grand Rapids, please call the Grand Rapids Police Department or report it to Silent Observer by phone or text. Live in Grand Rapids, Amanda Porter, News 8.